Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Noble Chairs Epic Black Edition. This is a review of a chair that I've been using for a couple of weeks now. A very premium gaming chair from Noble Chairs. I swapped this out and upgraded to it from the Noble Chairs Hero Black Edition, which I unboxed and reviewed about a year ago, and I've been using it as my daily driver since then. So I'm going to talk to you about what it's like to use and how it compares to that. I'm also going to do a separate video to compare those two if you're interested as well as a gear and review with that other chair. But what I want to do is talk to you about the highlights and lowlights of the Epic Black Edition. Now, this chair is available in three different variants. You can get it in the PU leather, real leather, or hybrid leather. And it's the hybrid leather setup that you're seeing here, which has a very nice finish to it with breathable materials that are meant to keep you cooler under pressure. Also lets through air and things, which basically means you don't have to worry about getting too hot while using it. And as someone hilariously commented in my previous video, it will let farts through, so you don't need to worry about that, which is a terrifying thing to put into a review. But there you are. It's comfortable to sit on, and it's very nice looking. It's a very premium chair with some nice features to it. There are some gripes that I do have with it, and I'll talk to you about those as I go through. But it is otherwise, and generally speaking, a very nicely designed chair with some really nice aesthetics. It looks the part. It's also very comfortable. It has a soft material to it, so that hybrid leather is very soft and it has some very soft elements, but it's used with cold foam and steel setup. So basically it's designed to be really solidly built and designed to last while also giving you the support you need, but being comfortable to sit in. So complaints that some people have sometimes with these gaming chairs is they're a bit stiff and uncomfortable. This one doesn't have it. It does have some nice cushioning in it, but it also gives you the good support that you need in the right areas. Now, I've been using this throughout the day and into the night so working on it during the day and then gaming or video editing at night and i've been finding it very comfortable and a nice upgrade from the previous chair it has a lot of the same features including those wonderful noble chairs accents nice for example metal handle that you can see here for adjusting the angle and the position on it and it's customizable in terms of the height and other things as well. I'll leave all the information in the specifications on the various stats on it, but it will take up to 120 kilograms in max load. It also has a adjustable seat and backrest. Obviously you can tilt it back and you can see that you can get into 11 degrees. It's also adjustable from 90 degrees to 135 degrees. So basically you can lay back nicely like this. It won't go all the way flat, so you can't lay on it like a bed, but it will rock back if you need it to. And the base is also adjustable so that you can adjust the seat and you can get it into a number of nice positions and get it very comfortable. Or you can sit bolt upright with it if that's your preference. And so it is very adjustable in that way. They've also changed and updated a number of things. For example, they've made the base a lot more resilient or stronger better looking base with five points on it and 60 mil casters that are designed to move around quietly. I've been using it on carpet where I've actually found it moves around nicely on there, glides around nicely too. Basically, most of the elements of this chair are very premium and it speaks to a very premium design that's built to last. It's guaranteed for two years, but still the stitching of things on it, the just the overall design of it, it feels like it's gonna last for a long while if you look after it and care for it well. And it, and it shouldn't be a problem, it shouldn't let you down. There are some things of note though, those holes at the top where you like the racing seat style, they look metal from the video and from the photos, they aren't, that's a metal look, it's actually plastic, which is a shame. But then you see things like the Noble logo etched into the chair itself, and you obviously have the that on the headrest, and you have it on the adjustment lever on the side so there's a few different elements of noble chairs without being too garish or in your face it just has this sort of understated look to it we can see like the stitching and things like that very good quality design and as i said that base and the back is also nicely padded not super duper mega soft you're not like sitting on a sofa or a recliner chair but you're certainly sitting on a comfortable chair throughout the day but yet the back is stiff enough that it gives you the support you need and a good bit of comfort. Now you'll see from this shot that on top of the drawers there that there are a couple of cushions included. I'm going to show you the setup of those in a minute. There are a couple of cushions included in the box. One thing that's a bit of a letdown coming from the previous Noble Chair chair that I tried out 
with the Hero Black Edition was there was built-in lumbar support with that chair. With this Epic Gaming Chair Black Edition, there are not lumbar support built into it. You have to use the included cushion. A bit more on that in a minute, but I really like the adjustment wheel on the previous chair to be able to adjust the lumbar support and get that into a position that was comfortable. Now you have to use cushions which is a real shame. Another highlight of this chair is the same as on the previous Noble chairs and on a lot of gaming chairs, but the ones on this are very nice. 4D armrests, you can adjust them in a number of different directions. Basically it's four dimensions, up and down, back and forth, in and out, and at angles as well. And I found that these are actually very comfortable. They're slightly different to the ones on the other chair as well. They're slightly smaller, they're not as large. Uh, they've been redesigned ever so slightly. They're not mega padded, as you'll see, they're not super duper padded. There's no mega amounts of padding there, but they're also not rock hard. So you don't feel like the arms or elbows are getting sore when using it. In fact, I find them to be more comfortable than those on the Hero Black Edition, although there's very little difference in them. It's just a size difference. There may be a slight bit more padding on there. And so they have been more comfortable. You can adjust them up and down manually like this, but you can also adjust them under the seat with where they're positioned. So you can move them in and out as well down there if you want to unscrew things. You can move them about a bit more. So there's a lot of flexibility in where you position these. And because there's so many different buttons on them, it's really easy to move them around as well and get them into a different position. So if you want to adjust the seat at any point during the day, if you feel like you're getting uncomfortable or you just want to reposition for a more relaxing seating experience and you can do that with these. Now here comes the cushions. The cushions included with the Noble Chairs Epic Black Edition are lacklustre. I'll be honest they aren't great. They look kind of nice but they're actually just basic really naff cushions. <laughs> I feel bad saying it because it's a premium chair and this chair was sent to me for free which I should note so I feel bad saying it, but it is true. It's factually accurate. You can see that I actually broke this cushion while squishing it, which just shows the quality of it. It's not that good. I said in the previous video that I did when I was compared Noble Chairs Hero Black Edition with the Secret Lab Titan chair, that that Secret Lab had much nicer cushions included with it. Now, these cushions are okay, but they're not great. And I would highly recommend upgrading to the memory foam cushions, which I'll show you in a minute because these cushions just aren't that impressive. They look nice, don't get me wrong, but they just are a bit sort of underwhelming in terms of the quality of them. The outside material that they're housed in is nice enough, but the actual sort of material inside it isn't particularly nice. It doesn't feel that great. I managed to break the lumbar support one ever so slightly, and the headrest one just isn't that impressive either. So they're really underwhelming. They are the most underwhelming part of this set up and it seems like something weird to complain about but when you consider there's no built-in lumbar support if you're like me and you like lumbar support i have a slightly arched back so i really need lumbar support uh, there is no built-in lumbar support and the pillows just don't cut it as the standard ones are just not very good which is a real shame now the material itself is very nice and very soft as i said and you do have a choice of pu leather real leather or hybrid leather obviously the real leather one is more expensive and i can only give you my thoughts on the hybrid leather but it is soft and i haven't found that i was getting too hot while sitting on it and it's been a very comfortable experience to sit on throughout the day the weather's kind of you know i live in england so it's not been amazingly hot lately but i have found that you know it's nicely comparable with the previous chair but perhaps a bit cooler I found that I'm sitting on it quite comfortably all day long and for many hours at a time and it's been nice. Now here you can see the action and installation of the standard cushions. They have these hooks on them. They basically run through those top eyes like the racing seat eyes at the top where you'd normally have harnesses if this was in a car and then through the bottom of the seat and they hook on in that way. And then you can move that standard lumbar support cushion up and down as you so wish into a position where you'd want it. And it's nice that it's adjustable in that way, but obviously you can't adjust the size of it, which is a bit of a shame. And then the headrest cushion just slips on there. Now you don't need to use these things, obviously. This is a choice whether you want to or not, but I generally like the cushions. I like to be able to just put my head back on them. You don't necessarily need them though. As I said, the material itself on the chair is also very comfortable, very soft. So it's easy enough to just, just chill out and lay back on it. As you can see from the overall seating experience, though, it's a very nice looking chair. I think it stands out and looks the part. Now, 
I will say, as I said a second ago, it is worth splashing out more for the memory foam cushion set. Unfortunately, this is another £50 on top of the price you're already paying for the Epic Black Edition. And you really, really need them. In my mind, these are much, much better. They don't look very good. It's really hard to do them justice in video. I don't feel like the design of them is very nice. In fact, if you put the two side by side with the standard cushion on the right, the actual outer lining of them looks nicer and it looks like it might be more impressive but just to show you the squashing difference you'll see how when you press on the memory foam one it sort of sits like that for a minute and then it reacts to and then it grows back so it definitely has a lot more squashy goodness to it and it will mold to your body a bit nicer and it just has a lot nicer pressure on it this is the memory foam lumbar support cushion as well the back support cushion again much nicer material they both don't look that impressive, but when they're on the chair and you're sitting on them, they make a world of difference. They are so much nicer than the standard ones. They're really good quality and they're really worth springing for. If you've bought the chair and you don't like the cushions and you want to upgrade, then get this. If you're thinking about buying the chair, I'd highly recommend purchasing these as well. You won't regret it. They're fantastic cushions. I really do think they should be included as standard, I'll be honest. You can see the difference between the two here. The standard one on the right hand side is tiny. It's underwhelming, it's naff. The proper one that you can purchase, the memory foam one is much nicer. I wish they were included as standard. Secret Lab has it down with this where Noble Chairs doesn't, unfortunately. But these are small complaints in what is otherwise a wonderful chair setup. If you aren't bothered about the cushions, you don't need loads of lumbar support, then this isn't gonna be an issue. It's still a great chair. It's still very comfortable. It's still very adjustable in terms of the height and the leaning back and the seat base. You can adjust the seat base in various positions as well with ease that moves up and down, but it also tilts back and forth. It's really simple to be able to adjust. And you'll see from these shots that the memory foam cushion doesn't hook on as well like the standard one. It just sits behind you so you just need to move it with your hand into the right position that's uh, uh, correct for your personal preference. Now the overall experience of this chair has been nice. Would I recommend this over the Noble Chairs Hero Black Edition that I've been using for last year? Yes, I would. It is a nicer chair. It's nicer looking. It's slightly more comfortable. They've improved the design ever so slightly. Is it worth purchasing if you've already got the Hero Black Edition? Maybe not. It's uh, not a massive upgrade. It is a massive upgrade visually in my mind. I think it looks a lot nicer. But they're both very similar chairs. They're both very well designed. They're both very premium, high quality. The Hero Black Edition has stood up to the test of time. I've had it abused and used it a lot and it's still running well. It still looks great and it's still very comfortable to sit in. And I'm going to do a video separately, as I said, talking about what it's like a year later. Um, but the Epic Black Edition is certainly a very nice option as well. One thing I did notice when comparing the two side by side, as I said earlier on, is that the armrests on the new Epic Black Edition are slightly smaller. There's not much in it. A very small difference between them but you can see in sort of size they're about the same so there we have it this has been the provoke prawn reviewing the noble chairs epic black edition a very nice chair with some really nice features to it i'll leave all the specifications and other things you might need to know in the description as well as links as where to buy it from and other things and a link to the other videos that i've done on the noble chairs seats I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to my extra special YouTube members. Those are people that have clicked the join button and join my channel for the extra perks that come with that. It includes Meaty Keyboard, Raw, Curtis Williams, Jay Shank 007, Sir Spawns a Lot, Jeffrey Johnson, Kraken Toys, Moist Kebab, and Beast of Bunny. And maybe you'd like to consider it too. Super big thanks to those awesome people for supporting my channel and to you for watching this video. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.